don't know what this one. Um, Greg. Lynn. Is it here? Yeah. Yay! Hey. Um, I've, uh, I've got three poems to read tonight. Um, the first one is a, um, a sonnet, one of the sonnet. It's to Orpheus on the first series number nine, a cooling translation. <clears throat> Only one who's raised the lyre among shades may return on ending praise with warning. Only one who's tasted the poppy of the dead with them won't forget the tone so delicate. Although the pool's reflection blurs before us often, know the image. Only in the double world do voices become eternal and mild. And then I have two poems of my own, which I've uh, brought um, to read. I picked them because they seem to go together, they seem inter interrelated and reflect upon one another. <clears throat> and uh, I guess they're written over a period of, of a year or so, so their similarities um, make me feel like, at least I'm the same person I was last year, or possibly that might be the case. The first poem is called Agility as a Specimen, and um, I also have another kind of adjunct to it. I, I wrote a kind of slight footnote. It's about the shaking. I get really nervous over here. Um, the potency of disbelief, and I suppose since I'm reading it, I might as well read this as well, and it's not really a footnote. I believe that, like the world, the mind is constantly erased to be imprinted again. We do not relive but live through a history of past time without remembering and at best only speculating sufficiently as to its contents. Poetry is reinventing a language that does not false, do, that does not have falsification as its intention. And now the, the two poems. Um, this is agility as a specimen. It is Saturday on the morning side of the world. Their voices and these then precious lights are stars entrusted to an earth we can name and remove mound in repair without our hands, pendulous care, proficient in nothing other than, uh, no, proficient in nothing either saw, or distant feet over softer Babylon, rivers unfurling in a way none of us could, horizontal towers confused in the wake of foreign accolades, sounding with death crowns extending into the head of this planet, always our ruler, white veils when the whole seed is exposed, all but our ears hear and even make sounds at lengths added and subtracted by blade width or color. Qualities are more particular food to be released in moments of truth. Feathers are skinless, now sensation, now memory. In what was yesterday dressed in a scarlet crease behind my house, beneath the moon, our riverbanks too are exposed. As rain feeds the water's hurried body, passing limited shoulders of matched soil, the less dense birch trunks interchanging the first flood of early spring and myths proper with the force of invisible storm economics but known through suspended time so mutely that the trembling surface may stop and harness cold and decorating again fall white upon the semblance of another's history This one's very short, and uh, I don't really have to look at it because I've kind of memorized it. It's called The Garden. Stars falls, one to another, night flowers. Two are skin, two are river-like breathing. Two placing the earth here. Two fragrant lips wind, edges tendrils do. The darkness spoken and thought differently now, as of climate the carried past. Thanks. Woo!